Hey guys, how are you doing? Today is um, October 14, Friday. Um, I think yesterday then we've been not very happy, right? but been set for a long time for the job of the um, US stock market. And then yesterday been um, rise up for, actually it's quite, it's quite dangerous for you to pay any of the speculation, right? Because um, just in the open of the market, and then um, Dow Jones has been go down for more than 400 points. And then the pounds is better, and then it goes up, and then goes down, and then suddenly, then it goes up to more than 800 points. So it's no point for you to pay any spe specula speculation during this time, because actually, a lot of the US stock actually been for its net value already. Why? Right. It's for its net value already, ex especially for the tech stock. We today we will have the news for the tech stock. That means then you keep on pressing and pressing for and pressing on the spring. And then after the pressure releases a bit and then it bounces back very strongly. Because it's at the bottom already. Where right. a lot of stock actually they are still earning the money. Right? They still earn the money. That is the net value. For instance, um my company has one hundred US dollar. We only have one hundred cash, one hundred US dollar, and then I issue that one hundred shares. That means every share is one dollar. Right, so this is a must. How can you further press down? Right, so now is like this situation. Don't pay any speculation now already because anytime it will strongly rebound. I know that this year or in next year, Fed will still put up the interest rate. Right, but this kind of thing will happen frequently. That means the market goes down, goes down, and goes down, and suddenly bounce up. And then goes down, go down, and then bounce up. It's just like a jigsaw. Just like a jigsaw, right? So just like the pound, right? Don't pay with that. Right? Because the policy will totally change the market's atmosphere, right? So today we will um take a quick look on Pepsi. Um I do not think that I need to introduce Pepsi to all of you, right? Because all of us been drinking Pepsi for a long time. This company is older than me, right? She is found in 1965, 57 years already. And then during the recession, we can call it now is recession and Pepsi is for global, for the whole world. And then Pepsi has a very brilliant performance during the recession, right? I do not know if she's been put up the price or not. I think she's been put up the price. It's hard to notice because maybe she put up the price by one dollar per can or one dollar or fifty cents by bottle, then we will not notice about that, right? Okay, for our Felcon portfolio still not looking very good, right? Or um although yesterday there is a strong rebound, right? And our Felcon portfolio is um forty six percent, right? Forty four months from 35,000 US dollar to 37.6 thousand US dollar. So uh, if you have any stock, then any subjects, then you want me to discuss, you can leave your message under the YouTube or you can directly email to me by US stock market weekly at gmail.com. So this is our Falcon 350,000 portfolio, right? Actually, we've been uh, in the same line of the Nasdaq performance, right? Nasdaq performance since our portfolio been established is 37%, and then our portfolio is 36%, then nearly the same. So this is our covering. And during a um, strong recession, not only in America, it's in the whole world, right? Actually, Pepsi's uh, performance is quite brilliant. We will come to that very soon. So yesterday is very dramatic, right? So you can see that the uh, Dow Jones has been up, been down, 
and then up a little bit and then down and then well it strongly rebounds then yesterday coasted um actually just quite quite a big rebounds right yesterday the Dow Jones has been rise at 2.83 percent and Nasdaq been rise at also 2.2 percent rise at 232 points and let us look at the uh, US 10 years treasury yield right you can see that it's a little bit higher than um, one week before right but well yesterday been down so actually the um, stock market rise up um, this is an um, interesting table to show um, in September that means one month before what is the inflation breakdown in the US then we can see that actually food at work or school been rise for 91.4 percent that's huge right and terrible and then is the airfare that means the air ticket 42.9 percent then is the gas by right, prime to gas 33 percent butter and margarine is 32 percent eggs 30 percent health insurance <laughs> not means health is mean health insurance 20 percent and then the transportation 27 percent i think that is related to the um energy right and then energy also um, rise at 18.9%. Gasoline, and then electricity, and then the milk. And then is the food, right? And then is the others, like the other items, like um, apparels, like uh, appliance, and car. Actually, the car rental decreased, it, right? Apparels just rise up by 5.5%. That's huge, right? Because that is not that is not one year that is one month but right? that is one month so if it rises at one month 40 91.4 percent that's huge right and even for apparel if it rises at 5.5 percent in one month is also huge right so um the fed is going to put up the interest rate and trying to reduce them Uh, we go to some headlines first. Then we go to um, we go to some headlines first. Then we go to Pepsi. Um, this is quite a big news, right? But it's not the first time we hear, right? And actually, Biden's been passed the rules, right? The legislation, right? Actually, for um, all American citizens, is not allowed it directly or indirectly to serve any China customer about the chips business. That means no matter is directly or indirectly. So actually a lot of staffs of them, no matter is in the whole or the area in in the whole world or in America or in China, then they have to quick and then go back to US right so that is um very big um very big hurting to um China's chip business right you know that now everything in the whole world is chips and then the targeting for um Biden no need to say it's about military and about the AI technology but for TSM Samsung and SK Highness then they have one year exemption right that means during the coming one year they can still serve china but after one year no extension so this one year is for them to retrieve and then switch to other customer that's what that one year for because they are back right i will explain this in detail in hong kong channel in patreon or in the other programs right because this topic is, is big, right? So I will discuss quite in detail, but not here, right? So any of my Hong Kong audience, then you can go back to Hong Kong's channel. Then for ASML, right? We know that we've been introduced in our pay programs for a long time. ASML, actually, then they have to obey the rules, the legislation 
from um, America, then a lot of their staff that is um, already in China, they have to retrieve. And then the staff have to retrieve from China and then goes back to America or no matter anywhere in the world, then they have to, if they are serving for China's chip business, they have to retrieve, right? That's what it is. And another big news is Biden's administration is asked, asked Saudi Arabia to postpone that decision. Um, that decision is to um, decrease the output of the oil, right? Actually, um, Saudi Arabia is going to maintain a good price for their oil. Otherwise, if the if they increase the output, then the oil price will keep on dropping, right? Because all we know that now is the global recession. And yesterday, the um, oil price is about eighty nine US dollar per barrel. Um, not much change, right? And we know that actually Biden's uh, purpose is to have a huge attack on Russia, right? If the if the oil prices keep on dropping, maybe to seven US dollar or sixty US dollar, and then Russia will be hit badly because all their income is depends on selling of their cheap oil, right? So we will wait to see if Arabia will okay or not, right? Because it's just Biden's asking, they are not confirmed yet. So I have the Netflix, right? I'm drawing the pen of a normal pen for Netflix is ten US dollar. Actually, it's nine point nine nine US dollar per month without any advertisement. And Netflix will um start the ad supporter pen on next month the first, November the first, and then the charging is um. A little bit smaller, six point nine nine a month. That means three US dollar cheaper, right? And that commercial will be just fifteen or thirty seconds in length, and then it will be played before and during the Netflix content. That means before the um, movie or after the movie, and then we'll have um, seven hundred and twenty uh, resolution. That's what it is. So. Not for me, right? I don't. I don't want to save three dollars and then to be interrupted by any advertisement, right? Um, I think it will. Then some, I I do not know because actually, a lot of the um, audience they they look they they just watch Netflix or they watch um Disney, they do not want to be interrupted, right? Is that three dollars very important? I do not know, but some of them in the um, statistic or in the questionnaire, then they um, replied that then if there is advertisement, then they will quit from the Netflix or Disney, All right? So we'll see if this will be successful to Netflix or not. May not be successful because for me, I will pay US dollars um, three dollars more. I do not want to be interrupted by any advertisement. Otherwise, I don't need to see Netflix, right? Because a lot of movies that is in others is no need money. I want to see Netflix because no advertisement, right? With good resolution, and then I can no need to wait. I can see at any time or even the cell phone while I'm traveling. If there is um advertisement, then not for me, right? So we'll see if Netflix will get a good result on that or not. And finally, there is Singapore. We know that a lot of um, Hong Kong specialists been moving to Singapore, and a lot of um, doing business been moving to Singapore because of the um, zero <laughs> COVID nineteen policy of Hong Kong following China. And uh, there is the statistic come outcome that the GDP for the third quarter of um, Singapore is four point four percent. Right, four point four percent, and the forecast is three point four percent. That is much better, right? It's much better, 
and then uh, because too much money been flow into Singapore, so the central bank will tighten the policy. Especially, I think is on the property, on the property market. We know that actually Singapore has a very tight policy control on the property price, right? So we will keep our eyes on that, right? But that is a good job from Singapore. Right, you can see that. Right, buildings in the business district in Singapore. I've been to Singapore twice, right? And Singapore's GDP for the third quarter beats estimate. Estimate is 3.4% and outcome is 4.3%. And the central bank tightened the policy as expected, right? Okay, we go to Pepsi. Actually, you can see um, Pepsi is not, um, it's quite an old fashioned stock, right? You can see that for the past five years, the total outcome, the total performance or total return is just 56.45%, with um, yearly dividend is 2.63%, very slow, right? But, um, this kind of brand that is so old, but is spreaded for um, globally, is quite good for the recession. It's low. That means every step is small and slow, but it keep on going forward. You can see that actually the stock price is like a chip saw, going up and then going down, going three steps forward and then two step backward and then three step forward something like that then you can see that in the past one year the stock price is, is just like jigsaw going down going up going down going up something like that right actually the performance of pepsi is very good and the net revenue for the past three months is 8.95 percent and it's even better than the past three quarters is 7.69%. And we look at the net income increment is very terrific. You can see that the net income for the past three months increased by 21.35%. And if compared it for nine months with one year before, it even increased it for 33.2%. Right? That means the that means the resection of the inflation actually did affect Pepsi, right? Because you can see that for nine months, increased 33%, but for three months, only increased 21%. That means it's being slowed down because of the inflation or the recession. But still, actually, it performs very good compared to the others already. So just look at the very last um, column. You can see that the cash provided by the operating activity actually is something like the six uh six point three billion US dollar and compared it to one year before six point six billion dollars, that is still okay, right? Still okay, not as good as one year before, but we will accept that. And then we look at the um, cash, short-term investment and the inventory. Then you can see that the cash performs quite good, right? 6.4 billion and nine months before is 5.59 billion. And then for the inventory, then a little bit, right? 5 billion compared to 4.3 billion in nine months before. And then we look at the uh, liability for the short term, decreased a lot, right? Three point one billion, and then one nine months before four point three, and then the account payable, and then the long term debt liability been nearly the same as before, so it's okay to us. And then we take a look on every segment. There are total um, two four two, four, six, seven segments for Pepsi, right? Then first one is for North um, America, right? North America, that means um, United States and Canada. And then it's quicker 
quicker. That means for the healthy food, such like um, rice, pasta, something like that. And then for Pepsi, herself for the drinks. And then it's Latin America, right? Then it's Europe, Africa, and then Asia, Australia, do you see that? You can see that every region increased. It. The most um, billion is for um, North America, increased by 19.55%. For the net um, revenue, and then the second one is um, Latin America, where that increased at nearly twenty percent. That's very good. And then for the operating profit, right? Um, for um, North America increased at seventeen percent, and then Latin America increased by seventeen point eight percent, and then for Europe, for the operating profit increased by twenty eight point. For seven percent, so actually, as a whole, some of the region is not as good as before. But as a whole, it has a big advance, big improvement. So I have made a summary of that. Is the revenue for one year right increased by seven point six nine percent, and the net income increased by thirty three thirty three percent. And the cash per equivalent is fourteen point four eight billion US dollar. Short term debt is twenty five point six five billion, and the long term debt is thirty six point one three billion. So actually, on the finance, she is healthy, but not um, not really good, right? Because you can see that for the cash equivalent plus the net income, right, it can overcome for the short term debt, but there is still the long term debt. Right now, the interest rate been increasing. So roughly, I calculated then for the long term debt, then she need to um pay back for the interest and the capital about four point three billion per year. If that is for a long term ten years, something like that, right? But um, no matter how, then she is healthy, right? You can see that for the net income is thirty three percent incre increment, and the PE ratio is just less than twenty five. But so now, actually, Pepsi is not expensive, right? We all will always compare like that. The PE, P is be lower than the increment of the net income, right? So I think that's a good stock for global reception. Although the increment will be very slow, right? But it's um very safe, right? Okay, today we share up till here. Then, uh, thanks for watching. Then, please give us a like and any comment is welcome. And then, uh, please help to press the subscribe button and then press the bell icon next to it. So, whenever there is new video uploaded, then you will be informed by YouTube. Okay, thanks for watching and hope everyone have a very peaceful Friday. See you next week. Bye bye.